Manchester Lacers is the first inclusive and non-binary football club in Manchester. I spoke to founder Helen to ask what motivated her to set the team up. I just felt like Manchester was missing uh, a club that was there for, for everybody, like a club that was inclusive and a club that was like super welcoming. And I'd lived in London before moving up to Manchester and I'd played for South London Lacers. Um, and I just loved the vibe of the place. So when I came up to Manchester, I was like looking for something similar. And I played around a few clubs and I made some amazing friends, but I really just wanted to create a community. And that's exactly what this is. As of May last year, there has been a 54% increase in affiliated women's and girls teams since 2017. There are now 3.4 million women and girls playing football regularly. And Manchester Lacers has attracted a high proportion of beginners. A big part of um, what I found is that the ethos about there's no clicks, there's no bullying, there's no everyone's encouraging of each other. So I'm very underconfident with football, but I feel like my teammates are all really, really encouraging and it's just really, really helped me. And I just feel like that's as soon as someone new starts, everyone's chatting, they're like really kind of um, supportive of each other. And I just feel like I've made a, a new group of friends and you could kind of just chat to anyone. Helen echoed those comments, adding that the camaraderie of a football team has been central to the Lacers growth. What I think is the most amazing thing is when we set this up, as I say, we set it up just to open the doors and welcome anybody in and create an amazing community. But it's the players that have come in that have never played before because for them, they've never experienced like what it is to be in a team. Like sure, they go to work and they've got colleagues and they've got friends and they've got little groups of people they hang out with. But being on a football team, it's like a family. Like you lose together, you win together, you fight together, you stand in the rain together. Like it's like this, it's like this different level of thing. So I think when we set this up, that was the most eye-opening and wonderful thing about it, is that the response from the beginners has been like, wow, for 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, I've never had a community. And now I have this community. And that's been the best response, I think. A recent report said around one in three girls drop out of sports during puberty and more than half of 12 to 16 year olds said they play no sport. Manchester Lacers is also bringing those who used to love the game back into the fold. I've always been interested in football, both watching it and Man City support a real uh, avid supporter. And I used to play on the streets when I was a kid, but that was in the 60s. And I played at primary school with the lads, but once I went to senior school, it was, it was a no-no. So I, I didn't play till about two years ago. I joined a walking football team, Man City, and then I found this because I prefer the, the running. So, and it's been great because you know, my skills are pretty, very basic, and it's so friendly. I, I've never, I just feel so good and it brings you on because you, they give you the confidence. You just, you just play and you enjoy it. Manchester Lacers is keen to involve LGBTQ people. But Helen says diversity is about more than just appealing to the rainbow community. I think like when we launched, um, I'm, I'm a gay woman. So when I first launched this, I was like, I don't want to make this an LGBTQ plus club. Of course, I am like more than like welcoming of the, of the rainbow community. And I'm like totally down with that. But I think that when I launched this, I really want to be like, everybody is welcome. And I think because of that, I think you name it, like you name it, every single person I think that represents Manchester as a city is represented within our club. With women's football on the rise and a greater focus on diversity, inclusivity and togetherness in grassroots sport, Manchester Lacers and many other clubs around the country will be hoping they can score goals on and off the pitch.